The void portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Kapulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergroods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Tal'Darim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. The Zelnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. Now, we must eliminate Amon's armies. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time they will not fail us. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artanis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against this slave master? I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! The purifier stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. Detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. We must bolster our forces. The past will not dictate our future. It seems I am still learning from you, Phoenix. Oh, your ship is too bright, it pains my eyes. Oh, 
the efficiency of the Firstborn leaves much to be desired. Why do we linger here? Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artanis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lantanum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. If they are anything like Phoenix, the Purifiers have potential. Endion. It is hard to imagine what it must have looked like before the Zerg invaded. We received a report from one of our colony worlds. Amon's forces are destroying their neighboring planets. They barely escaped in time. The material inherently absorbs void energy and redistributes it. Now, if we only had a scalable source of void energy... Curious. This Terran research speculates the Keystone would kill any Protoss near it. Such a simple interpretation of the evidence. For each secret I unravel, another lies in wait. The Zelnaga think in ways I can scarcely understand. It is unreasonably frustrating. The Zerg pose quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy. It certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. I know this will work, Hierarch. I know. I can guide the purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am. How I came to be, now, things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes, you embark upon a task that even Phoenix could not achieve. Yet he would attempt it if he could. I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. I am Phoenix. But not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. on Indion must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyrus. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. the vault of the purifiers. It is fortunate that Amon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. Are 
I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, steam cliffs, besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. Done. The area is secure. Warp coordinates for our nexus point are locked. Karax, activate the megalith. Authorization in progress. The megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. Megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. The Megalith should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it.
Shibboleth is online. We must ensure it reaches the stasis locks safely. Megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. I'm detecting Zerg movement. Warriors, ensure none reach our nexus point. Megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the next one. grows narrow ahead. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. Upgrade complete. The Megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the Solarite components within.
power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. Megalith's work is nearly complete. It will move again soon. Base is under attack. Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The megalith is en route to the third lock now. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. is disabling the third lock. Both power cores have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately.
This lock is almost destabilized. The megalith will relocate shortly. disabled and the megalith is on the move my readout shows cybros beginning to awaken from stasis only two remain hierarch i am detecting a large number of zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead we can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. Upgrade complete. Phase link authorized. The megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. There is an entire Zerg hive cluster between the megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. Upgrade complete.
Destabilization is nearly finished. The Megalith will disembark soon. is down and the megalith is traveling stasis grid at 20 percent wait i'm detecting activity in the zerg hive nearby they're reinforcing the last lock Detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Final lock is destabilizing, and the grid is down. We've done it! Cybros is free from stasis. Recall our forces from Endion's surface. We take this battle to Cybros. A new combat unit awaits factional assignment hiring.